How are you today? The improved package has arrived. We're having it fitted in time for FP1. Have a look at the factory report. Okay then, so we've got the new aerodynamics fitted onto the car, a new chassis upgrade, and I believe it's in durability on the general wear. Very so good then, in Bahrain. Bahrain's quite a strong track for me on previous games, but I don't really know what to expect after Australia. I'm always bad at Australia as, well, now looking back at it where I'm at the minute at Spa. I was stupid to switch the engine so early, so that's my bad, but there you go, we missed some practice things because of some corrupt data, but we did get good points on fuel and tyre saving, which is quite good. We can qualify and then uh, my favourite one, just simply to do that, super that time. Then yeah, again we made another mistake, we just want a good strong engine for Bahrain. So I feel like that's the strongest like circuit for house as we're just going straight to the second power unit first one will just be useful practice but we're going there and qualifying it's starting to darken which it isn't bowing it's the right first lap but miles to improve on that as we do it again that's the end of the session where did we come in q1 p12 it's alright and Ocon surprisingly well, I know pretty much the McLarens and stuff. But Ocon, India, of course, India would be quite good around here with the straights and stuff. We're going Q2. Apparently, soft tyres are much better for me. I feel about to set a fastest lap when it, on the super soft in Q2. That will be our starting tyres. So we go into Q3, so just Roman. It's person Daniel Ricciardo's gone out. A bit weird. So we've all seen the lot like to have failures if we go into Q3 then we're going to set another lap on the same tyres so and we're going to get a third run in no we're not Here's a look at your Q3. Top three. P9 then go out qualified by Roman and I enter the race end I enter 5 red light and off we go bit of the labour and Perez is just going off to a bloody flying start so we're going to try and go on the inside and not Try and hit anyone. Go on simulation. We just missed Massa. It's a good start. So now I said, oh my god, we just okay, kicked that's someone. A good start. Keep it up. Jeff knows the stuff for sure. It's like Richard from Texas. He knows the stuff. There you go. Going straight past Stroll. It's simple. We take it didn't really fight back. Going on to lap 8. People coming into the pit. But nothing has happened until now as Carlos signed he's going to try and battle us we're going to give him plenty of room into turn one then we're going to keep following there so I think he's just going to by Daniel Ricciardo we went out in Q2 he now comes into the pit so we are now P1 but we haven't made a pit stop yet we go down on that time we're going to come in there's a pit so we just make it I don't know what tyre we're going on, I think it's either super soft, then we're going to go on soft, so it's soft, then super soft. We're going on the super soft. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a two stop. It's a, it's a right getaway. Where are we going to come out? McLaren 2 have not pitted or coming out. Is Rojon? So we have lost a lot of time. But really, we're already halfway through their stint. So it's actually okay, and plus, overtakes means a bit more exciting video than what it's been so far. There you go then on lap 12, catching up the signs on DRS. So we overtake the Pearl Torpedoes, we overtake this Pavillat as well. We're so good on the straights. Not as good as on the corners, but we just make it there, go over a little bump. Onto that 14 with a little bit of a dive bomb on Hulkenberg, a bit of contact there by the sounds of it. There you go, is it from the replay? I, I can't really see the contact there. Lap 16 of P7, there's Bottas that just came out for probably his 
her super soft sat 16 to 29. And she's good on those tyres. Run away, there you go, lap 16, Roman's in. We're going to pay in a few laps later. The gearbox has got slightly wear, we'll be fine for now. Bottas is trying to fight us. A bit of contact there, but we need to come into the pit. We're going to go on the soft tyres to the end. Perfectly in. Soft tyres, hopefully we can get in front of Roman or closer. Be a good pit stop. Yeah, okay, it was slightly better than the first one. It's when we're now, oh, we're not going to get past him. We do have some time to catch up. Okay, Jeff does not know at all, so we're going to get past Hulkenberg. Okay, so we'll jump Hulkenberg. There you go, later on to lap 20, people come into the pits, we got past Massa. Lap 21, Lonja's in. A few seconds away from goes on. Lap 26. As we have seen, well, that moment we lost third. We could feel it on fourth, but yeah, we lost third gear. So, pretty much, we're not going to get goes on. But we are kind of under attack by Verstappen. As we have just regained third gear, so everything is all good. But our tyres are shot. And then onto the last lap, come round the last corner then. Looks like it's going to be P7. It's all um, power units trying to change them, but yeah, it's going to be P7 then. Better result. Not as good as China, I think. So, but yeah, Ferrari won again. Surprise? No. Never is. It's a fast and battle. Kimi's not dominated my crew mode on my covers. It's been best, but that's been for a while. Many battle. So yeah, apparently Mercedes aren't as good as Ferrari on here. Despite Mercedes being slightly higher on the R&D than Ferrari, but you know, that looks like Voldemort behind the scenes. And now let's take a look at the driver's standing. Oh, P7 it's and Roman P6. It's really. We've got some good Moving points for the, the team. Driver of the day, then. Anthony Davidson, who is it? Who would you go for? Lots of drivers impressed me today, Crofty, but I'd say the one who impressed me the most was Daniel Ricciardo. On Ricciardo to the for Daniel, then, for Ferrari, driver of the day. So in constructors, we've taken 14 the event. There you go, we've got mentioned. To move themselves further up the fourth table. in the constructors, but yeah. Gearbox problems, we made a stupid mistake, but it's actually okay because six races means you can survive. On gearbox, we're going to get a good drop runway. That's the end. See you next one.